Have you been to Auschwitz yourself? Yes, I went to Auschwitz over this past summer. Meeting uh, someone who survived Auschwitz, what did you get out of uh, meeting a, a, a person who's experienced it like this tonight? I think um, I was able to connect with where I went even more. Um, my grandfather was a survivor, but I was never actually able to meet him. So him being able to tell his story and even living such a positive life with what he was able to say about his life and everything he went through. How much awareness is there among your friends? I mean, besides, before you went to, to visit Auschwitz, was it March of the Living? Um, no, it's actually with the Tzofim Israeli Scouts. It's called Masale Polin in Hebrew. Um, with, you mean with my Jewish friends in the group or like my friends at school? Well, how much awareness is there in general about uh, the Holocaust? I don't think there's enough awareness actually, especially at my school. Like people, like we learn... Is it a public school? No, it's a private school. I go to the Meadows. Um, it's not a Jewish school? No. Every, anyone can go there. Um, and we do learn about it at school. Oh, not even that much actually. The Holocaust is actually barely covered. Yeah. Um, only like a couple of years ago, it was covered um, in my class, but barely at all, and in middle school a little bit too. Um, but I don't think there is enough awareness, and I don't think that people my age are able to connect with what happened in the past. And I also feel like they just don't take it seriously enough. Really? Yeah. Just like, you know, being young, you know, they can, you know. But how about as part of the curriculum? In other words, they teach about the American Civil War and black suffrage? Right. They, I really don't think that they teach enough about this. Um, I'm taking government now, so it doesn't really have anything to do with government. Last year I took European history. We did study it a little bit, but I don't think... We kind of studied it just as a, in a political view or a historical view, but we don't really get into it like more emotionally to talk about, we talk about, oh, six million deaths as if it was nothing and we don't really dig deep into it. And when I was taking that curriculum, it kind of like hurt me that we didn't talk about it enough and like we didn't get into the emotions of like the individual people that went through everything. Are there not a lot of Jews in the school? Um, actually, there isn't that many out of like this, but it's not too bad. Out of the 60 kids in my grade, there's about 10, and the headmaster... That's one-sixth, that's right, 15%. Yeah. yeah, and the person who started up the school, Carolyn Goodman, she's the mayor too, she, she's also Jewish. Um, we did have one year that was kind of dedicated to the Holocaust in seventh grade. We had a lot of English books about it and history, we talked about it a lot. Um, but even just that, I don't think the kids connected to it enough. And I don't think it, was, it still wasn't in the curriculum enough, even in a private school. But it was only in that one year, not mentioned in the history of World War II or? It's mentioned, like people kind of, they expect you to know, like World War II, so they don't talk about it too much. And they, they also don't dig deep into the Holocaust. They talk about World War II and the political stances, the, the Allies versus the Axis powers and everything like that. But they don't talk about the Holocaust and the individuals who died and like all the civilians and like what they had to go through enough. How is the curriculum established? Is it set up by the state or is it just set up by the private uh, school uh, board? Um, I think it depends on the class. For AP classes, it's definitely like the AP curriculum is established by like the school board. Um, but the curriculum that's in other classes, like honors classes, um, that is, I think, the teachers make it themselves. And it just has to go through the school. Uh, do you think that the teachers are liberal by themselves? I mean, individually? <laughs> Um, I definitely, yeah, um, but I don't know. I would expect them still to talk about it more. I don't know. Do you think that they may have may hold some feelings about uh, Palestine and Israel that they may not want to give enough uh, uh, victimhood to the Jews? 
Um, maybe that like that might be it, but that's definitely not a reason because like it shouldn't be a reason because even if it was, it doesn't matter who it was that it was, it was six million Jews, but it was also five million other people that died in the war. So like it st should still be like explained a lot more than it than it is right now. And I know like my friends who are in public schools, they barely talk about it at all. You've discussed this with your friend in public schools? Yeah, my friends who are in the Israeli scouts, we talk about this all the time and they always say how it's, they always say how it's barely in their curriculum and how their teachers are sometimes anti-Semitic or something like that. So they don't, yeah. Oh, in public schools, yeah. Um, and they don't talk about it enough at all, especially in public schools, but even in private schools, they don't either. Uh, uh, is there any attitude towards students who may be Israeli? Um, at my school, no. Um, it's be, like at my school, we have like, like everyone goes there, everyone from any place that you could imagine. We, we're like a school that we come from a lot of different backgrounds and like we don't experience any like racism or anti-Semitism. No, but I'm asking about liberal anti-Semitism or, or uh, that's uh, a part of the academia the way it is at colleges. Oh, at co I mean, I haven't, I'm not in college yet, so I'm not sure, but uh, to the people that I've talked to in college, there is a lot of anti-Semitism. Uh, is, is, is it that way also in the public high schools as well? In the public high schools, definitely, yeah. Mm. From the faculty? Yes, yes. Really? Yeah, from the teachers. Mm -hmm. Do you think that they're discriminating in teaching, in not teaching about uh, the Holocaust or how it led to, or contributed to the reestablishment of Israel? For public schools, I definitely think that that is a factor. Um, but they, I think that's really stupid that that's what they do to, like, they're so anti-Semitic that they can't come to the fact that six million people died. Like, like what I don't like about people like that or others like that don't really connect to the Holocaust is they're like, oh, they're Jewish. Like, I can't really connect to that. But what I'm thinking is it was six million people in general. Like, people. You should think of it as individual people, humans. Like, we're all human. We should think of it like that instead of, oh, discriminating, oh, they were Jewish. It doesn't matter. Or something like that. Brush it off. Is there a, a, a prejudice or a, a, a bias against uh, Jews as um, privilege, like white privilege, Jewish privilege in the city? Um, in this city? Um, I guess so. I mean, a lot of Jewish people are like wealthier. They like worked hard. They have the better professions, and that might be like a label that we have. Yeah. But is that is that an attitude from teachers or students? Um, I don't go to the public school, so I haven't. And I haven't asked about that so in sp specifically, but that's probably a part of it. Yeah. This probably is, yeah. Anti-Semitism based on class. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's definitely a part of it.